So I'm joined by Amrita Sen, a commodity strategist from Barclays Capital. Thanks very much indeed for coming in. So I guess the biggest economic worry when we look at Egypt right now is the price of oil. I mean, despite the severity of these protests on an unprecedented scale in major cities right across the country, how high is the risk of oil shipments going through Egypt? How high is the risk that they'll be disrupted? Yeah, no, it's a very good question because what we have seen so far is that despite the violence, the Suez area has been pretty well protected. And I think ultimately it's the military who, has, who takes these decisions. They have done for the past 60 mm. years. We don't think that's going to be very different this time around. And at the moment, there's no indication that they're going to shut the canal. Uh, it is the home of you know, oil shipments. About 7.5% uh, of global oil trade goes through this canal. And I think also the fact that the US has its fifth fleet in Bahrain, it's very close to Egypt, it's going to stop the government from taking any rash decision. That's not to say that the, uh, the canal's not mm. going to be hostage to international politics. It has been in the past, yeah. but currently it doesn't seem like the case. Yeah. Uh, so just to be clear about this, no evidence as yet that uh, the supply routes have been affected by these no. protests in any way. Where might the threat to supply come from? I know that you said it would mm. be protected by the military and of course they're playing a very interesting role, a very yeah. prominent role yeah. in these protests. won't go into that now, but yeah. uh, there is a curfew in place mm -hmm. across the country from dusk till dawn. So could that result in potential delays? Yeah, I mean, I think what we are seeing is slightly reduced number of uh, shipments. Um, there were some reports put out that it's, it's still, um, you know, it's, it's as normal as it can, but mm. it's less number of ships going through. Some Western companies, oil companies, have been targeted. Some of the ships that, are, that have just been um, anchored might be a target. But nothing that's going through at the moment is a target. But as you said, yes, if the, if the situation deteriorates, we can see uh, shipments being dislocated or just the canal being shut down. Absolutely. And what about this investor concern that the protest could spread to other oil producing nations in the Middle East? Yeah, I think at the moment, obviously, it's Tunisia and then Egypt. And, um, of course, the fact that there's contagion, there was something in Sudan today as well. It is definitely keep an eye out for. Uh, what I would say is that in mm. terms of oil markets as a whole, the fact that this year now we have such strong demand, inventories are coming off very, very quickly, spare capacity is coming off very quickly. Any such concern just means that prices mm. are going to get another leg higher and they're going to just remain supported. And geopolitics is very much at the forefront of the oil market now than it has been in the past. Yeah, and I guess part of the problem is that, I mean, of course, Egypt doesn't produce the oil itself, but, you know, like many other countries across the region, it plays a very key strategic role in actually shipping yeah. uh, the oil, the oil to, to various parts of the world. So if supply was disrupted, what would that mean for U.S. and European markets, given the significant shipments of oil that are passing through? I mean, would the U.S. be hit harder than other countries? I mean, you've got the North Sea producing for Europe and crude from the Middle East and Russia can cover Asia, right? I think uh, the bulk of the, the so-called hit would be taken by the uh, Europeans and the Mediterranean refineries because if you look at the pipeline, the Sumet pipeline and the uh, canal itself, the shipment is primarily to Europe. And what we are going to see is uh, different trade flows. Essentially, the bulk mm. of the African, West African crudes will potentially go into Europe to cover for the shortfall. And then, like you said, some of the Russian crude and some of the Suez stuff kind of gets diverted to Asia. So the bottom line is, if ships are disrupted, European supply, global prices affected exactly. the most. Well, thank you Absolutely. very much indeed. Good to talk to you. I'm Rita Sen, Commodity Strategist, Barclays Capital.